decadent and delicious death by chocolate poke cake. everyone the base of this recipe is a plain old chocolate cake mix now I'm not going to add the ingredients that are listed on the box I'm going to add a few different ingredients and what this does it's going to make this cake extra fudgy a little bit more dense and a lot more delicious now I actually did this before when I made Max's Minecraft cake many many years ago so I'm adding four egg whites half a cup of water third of a cup of oil plus two tablespoons a cup of sour cream and one box of instant chocolate pudding mix that I almost forgot to add, but I'm gonna add right here. And then you're gonna blend that all together and you're gonna get a very thick cake batter, but that's okay. Once you're done blending that up, you're gonna pour this into a nine by 13 inch baking dish. I've lined mine with some parchment paper just for easier cleanup and then I grease the parchment a little bit. Now this cake is not self-leveling, which means that when you put this in the oven, all those bumps, if you don't flatten them out, you'll have bumps when you're done. So I just use a spatula to try to get it as even as possible. And then you're gonna bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes or so until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. And once it's out of the oven, while it's still warm, take a wooden spoon and just poke some holes with the end of the handle in the cake. And all these holes are gonna be filled with another delicious chocolate mixture. Take one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I melted these in the microwave at 50% power, one minute at a time. Stir them until they're nice and smooth. And then you're gonna add in one can of sweetened condensed milk. That's a 14 ounce can. And just continue to stir this until it is nicely combined. And then pour this mixture on top of the cake and it's gonna seep into all of those little holes that you made. Once it's all poured on top, spread it out evenly with a spatula, to go up right to the edges. And then you're just gonna put this in the refrigerator just to let it set a little bit while you make the frosting that goes on top of this. And now for the third and final chocolatey layer, the frosting. In that bowl is two and a half cups of powdered sugar and one cup of butter at room temperature. Just blend those things together until it's nice and creamy. It'll get kind of crumbly at first and then it'll become creamy. Make sure you use a big enough bowl because I usually don't and I get powdered sugar all over the place. Then add in one quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder and blend that in. Once that's blended, add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and you're gonna add in a pinch of salt, and then finally, little bits of milk or cream until you get to the frosting consistency that you like, just so that it is spreadable but not runny. And just keep blending. Now I tasted this and I didn't think it tasted chocolatey enough for me so I added an additional quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. So with that, so a half cup total. Blend that together and just to make sure that this was even more over the top chocolatey I added in a half a cup of miniature chocolate chips to this. Now it's time to spread this on top of the cake now you'll see as I'm adding the frosting in, in kind of dollops on top that that chocolate layer is, is wrinkling up a little bit. It wasn't completely set in the refrigerator and that's okay. It doesn't have to be completely set, but you just want to be careful when you're spreading your frosting so that you don't move all of that other topping to one side, if you know what I mean. Just spread it around gently, goes right up to the edges. And then finally sprinkle additional chocolate chips on top. And then just put this in the fridge and let it set. And then cut it into squares. And there it is, you have a super dense fudgy chocolate cake on the bottom with little pockets of chocolatey creaminess. And then a thick layer of super chocolatey frosting with bits of chocolate in it and then chocolate chips on top. This is truly a death by chocolate cake. 
Now, not surprisingly, this is not the first death by chocolate recipe that I've made on my channel. Right now on your screen are my death by chocolate brownies and they actually have three chocolate bars in the center of these. These are equally spectacular. And what I liked about these is the way that they're decorated with all the different kinds of chocolate confections on top. So you might actually want to adapt this for the recipe that you just saw or give these ones a try. Thank you so much for watching.